Hello everyone, my name is Viktor Öhman and in this very short video I want to show you how to make your custom 3D scans fully tileable in just a few simple steps. I'll start off by importing my textures, in this case an albedo and displacement. I have a blank normal and roughness map in there as well, just to make the mixer happy. Since I have auto populate checked, I just need to select my albedo and the mixer will sort the rest out. And there we go, let's hit next, fill out some information about the surface and let's go. So now we can find this custom surface in the local library. Let's load it. It's already looking really good, but I'll boost the displacement to make it even more pronounced. I'll set high and low frequency to 3, and you might notice it's looking a little strange. That's because it's lacking normal information. I'll generate that from the experimental menu. It's as simple as that. A very common problem when working with scan displacements is stretching in more extreme areas, such as these. The way I'll go about cleaning this up is by duplicating this layer and then soften it so that the stretching goes away. Next I'll use the hand painted masking feature and fill the entire canvas with black, effectively masking it out. The next step is to carefully paint using white in the problematic areas. And as you see it really reduces the stretching, but you still want to be careful as to not smooth too much out. I'm adjusting the brush size to match the area I'm working on by holding down S on the keyboard and middle mouse button dragging. You can also adjust the flow and opacity if you want to make even finer adjustments. As you can see when I'm toggling the visibility here, it really makes a huge difference. The final step of the cleanup process is to use a soft brush and just go around the outside edges of the shape. This is to smooth out the blending in the next step. Next I'll go ahead and export this to the library so that we can load it as a single material layer. Once that's done I'll go ahead and load it from the local library after deleting the layers we worked with. The following steps are really easy and straightforward. What I'll do is I'll duplicate the layer, offset it in both directions by 0.5 and I'll adjust the blending radius slightly. Next I'll create a hand painted mask and paint away the areas that don't blend very naturally. This is usually the edges of the 3D surface. As you can see it blends together really nicely and it's super easy to refine it by masking. When I'm happy with the blending I'll do the exact same thing on another duplicate of the first layer, but I'll set the offset values to 0.25 instead. I'll start off the masking on this layer with a black color and simply paint with white in the areas that I need to fill. I think it's really getting there, and at this point it's really just a matter of refining the blending and the features of the surface. Remember that you can always, at any time, thanks to the mixer's non-destructive nature, go back and make edits to the blending. Once done you can either export it to your target engine or renderer, or you can export it to the library for later use, and you can always mix in some other materials should you want that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.